In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change long format data into wide format data and how you can change wide format data into long format data. This is something that's really quite common. Often we're given data that's not in the format that we'd like it. In particular, um, if you are using R and you've been sent an SPSS file, SPSS really likes wide form data and R tends to prefer long form data. So doing this type of thing is actually quite common. However, it is very easy to do. There are lots of different ways that you can do this in R. What I'm going to show you is how you can use the tidyverse package with the pivot wider and pivot longer functions to achieve this. So you're going to need to install tidyverse if you haven't already done so and activate that in your library. I'm just going to read in some example data that I'm just going to call long. So this is going to be a long format. So let's have a look at this data. So it's in long format in as much as we've got repeated measures data, our participants here are weighed at week zero, week 12 and week 52. So our participants appears three times in the data into week zero, week 12, week 52, and then we've got their weight in kilograms. So that's repeated. So this is what we call long format data. Now we may want to have wide data in which you've got one row for participants, then we've got the uh, weight uh, time one, which is week zero, weight at week 12, weight at week 52, then participant number two, weight at week zero, weight at week 12, weight at week 52. So we're going to make this, instead of being long, we make it wider. So I'm going to create a new data frame that's going to be called wide. I'm going to use my pivot wider function. All I need to say is I'm using the data. They're called long. The names for my new column are going to come from time. So the new columns, these are going to be the column titles, week zero, week 12, and week 52. This is where the names are going to come from. And then the values are going to come from the weight column. So the values are going to come from here. And that's all we need to do. So we run that. And let's look at our new data. So we've got a participant. I've got five participants. We've now got only one participant here in the rows. I suppose having one, 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 two, 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 just one, two, three, four, five. Week zero, participants weight in kilograms. Week 12, week 52. So we've made it from long into wide. Um, we could, if we wanted, add prefixes as well. Sometimes your labels here may not be that suitable for column titles. In this case, they are. However, we may want to put a prefix so we can add names prefix. So this is going to add something that's going to add the word session in front of these columns. So it's going to be session week zero, session week 12, session week 52. So we could add a little prefix if need be. Session week zero, session week 12, session week 52. So we can add something in front of all those if we wanted. I'm going to rerun that. So let's get back into, this is our wide data here. Now, as I say, it's quite common to receive data that's like this, and we all want it long format instead. If we want to do a linear mixed effects model, for example. So, to do that, we use the pivot longer function. So I'm going to call this one long two. Data frame. So I'm going to take this wide and I want to make that now long. So I need to tell it the columns that I wish to use that I want to utilize to make into the data for my long data. And it's going to be the columns are week zero colon week 52. So that's just going to say do it from week zero all the way to week 52, including anything between them. So week zero to week 52 is going to include week 12. So these are the columns that I want to take this data and make it long. The column names are going to go into a new column that I'm going to call time. So these names, week zero, week 50, Week 12 and week 52, I'm going to go to a column that's called time. 
and the values, so these values are all going to go to a new column that's called weight. So if I run that, my long two data, so my new column called time, new column called weight, and these are what the column titles were before, and these are the values that are in them. And you'll see that this perfectly matches the one I read in originally. Now, you could have the situation where the columns aren't in order. So in this case, week zero, I can put a column in there because it goes zero, week 12, week 52. If that's the case, well, I can just list them. So I can just make a list instead. So say columns, C, create my list and just list the variables I want to use. So I can run that and view long, and it gives me the same output as before. So I could list them instead, but more often than not, that colon would be sufficient for you. And that's a very simple way in which you can make long format data into wide format data and vice versa.